Hello, darlings. It's me, Elvira, mistress of the dark. Long time no see. But now the busty babe in black is back. I am so happy to see you. I can just kiss you. You know, her. Maybe not. I'd ask you what you've been doing with yourself, but I'm afraid I already know the answer. Anyway, it's great to be back on the old couch doing what I do best. And as soon as the show's over, that's just what I'm going to do. Now, what's the first thing you think of when you think of Elvira? Jeez, that guy is looking at me like I'm a Happy Meal or something. Okay, okay, that's the first thing. But the second thing is bad movies. And tonight I'm changing all that. Tonight, I've got a really bad movie. <laughs> what smell? Why, it's our feature, the classic cult clunker from the Lone Star State, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yee-haw! Now, this here movie takes place deep in the heart of Texas. Well, I just love Texas. I mean, being out there on the range with the cowboys, herding their longhorns and riding the panhandle. Yeah, especially like riding the panhandle. Mm-hmm. Boy, they made a lot of great movies in Texas. Unfortunately, this ain't one of them. Boy, I tell you, partner, I already saw this little doggy. And y'all want to know what I thought of it? Yep, that's pretty much it. Why, this flick is so bad, it's TV rating, there's no way, Jose. I mean, just to show it, the station has to pay a fine for polluting the air. Why, it's so bad, the French have declared it a work of art. Hey, where the heck you think you're going? Uh-uh. You're gonna sit right here and watch this cow pipe. I have to hog and tie you myself. <laughs> Not that we haven't played that little game before. <laughs> Enjoy the movie. Oh, all that talk about head cheese made me a little hungry. You don't mind if I snack, do you? Of course, here in California, we use airhead cheese. <laughs> hey, here. Have one. It's really good. Oh, let me introduce you. This is my favorite photographer, Antonio Fotomassi. You do all my glamour shoots, don't you, Antonio? Yeah. Oh, he is the best. And girls, his makeup people are terrific. Oh. Antonio, tell them what they do to get rid of those annoying clothes feet. They take the head and they boil it, except for the tongue. It can cause a little swelling, so you might want to do it a day or two before the shoot. <laughs> well, Tony, I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> uh, come on, Tony. I'm really feeling it now. <laughs> Ooh, phew. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> oh, boy. I do some of my best work on Polaroids. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Hey, that's just a little too close up. So, darling, what do you think of the movie so far? Sure, it's kind of cheesy. Head cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> but you're having fun, aren't you? If I have any more fun today, I don't think I'm going to be able to take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll say it, don't spray it. <laughs> While you've been watching the film, I've been having a cyber chat with some of my fans. You know, I've got my own website, www.elvira.com. <laughs> I made it easy so you guys can type it with one hand. <laughs> oh, I tell you, my homepage gets hit on more than Ellen DeGeneres at a Katie Lang concert. <laughs> my website's a little different, though. I don't send email. I send double email. <laughs> Now remember, I don't want you coming into my chat room unless you got protection on your mouth. It's like whenever I go online, there's always a lot of guys out there just pounding away on their laptops. <laughs> Ooh, guess what? A new guy just logged on. Know how I can tell? One double click and he's done before you can say Yahoo. <laughs> well, we all knew those kids were on borrowed time, didn't we? For those of you scoring at home, not that kind of scoring. It's Leatherface 2, Hippies 0. I think the lesson here is, guys, don't wear bell-bottoms, and girls, don't date guys who wear bell-bottoms. Jeez. 
Now, Leatherface is just a little jumpy about people dropping by. I mean, you knock on his door, and the next thing you know, he's knocking on your head. Um, Leatherface, if you're out there, you might want to talk to your doctor about just up in the old Prozac a little. And what the heck have you been feeding that parakeet? <laughs> you know, I really feel sorry for that girl. And I'm not just talking about having to stretch those red hot pants over that big butt of hers. Honey, last time I saw a rear end that big, it had a license plate on it. No, what I'm saying is, you go over to Leatherface's house, the place is a mess, phones everywhere, then he finally decides to pick something up off the floor and hang it up, and it turns out to be you. Oh, and Leatherface, time to redecorate. I mean, that bone thing is so passe. Although, wait a minute, I, I think that's a genuine Louis XIV sofa. Yep, uh-huh, I recognize Louis' skull. <laughs> now, let's see, there's three hippies left, and the movie's half over. Gosh, you, you don't think those kids are dumb enough to go to Leatherface's house and look for their friends, do ya? Well, I guess I'd answer that question. Scratch one more, hippie. You know, this movie is kind of like Deliverance, but without the romance. Well, since I gotta be here, I thought I'd just invite some friends over and throw a little party. Hello? Is anybody here? Come on in! I'm in the TV room. Just go ahead and help yourself to something in the fridge. And while you're in there, get me one, too, okay? <laughs> while we're enjoying our refreshments, you enjoy this. And so the traveling salesman says to the farmer's daughter, No thanks, I'll eat it here! <laughs> going great. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys don't mind, but I invited Leatherface. You damn fool! He's a neighbor! What was I supposed to do? Uh, that's probably him. Uh, well, maybe if we're just all really quiet, he'll just go away. Then again? Maybe not. Watch the movie. I'll clean up this mess. I'm sure after watching this movie, a lot of you are going to want to go out and buy your very own chainsaw. And who can blame you? Why, they're not only handy, they're lots of fun, too. Now, remember, when using a chainsaw, always wear safety goggles. Chainsaws are just the thing for slicing and dicing mounds of vegetables. And, uh, those wood chips are high in fiber, too. Chainsaws are also great for those arts and crafts projects around the house. My butt hurts just looking at that. Mm, not really me. Hey, pretty good for a beginner. <laughs> Doesn't look great in my bedroom. What the heck? In my bed. <laughs> oh, now for a project that's really near and dear to my heart. Cutting this movie. Wait a minute. That's it? That's the ending? But Leatherface didn't die. That means they did a... a sequel. <laughs> oh, believe me, honey, I feel the same way. 
The only interesting thing about this movie was the casting. Did you pick out these celebrities? That's right. It's that Ernest guy. You know, 